Well, then, with pick uh, number five after Luke Hughes, another Michigan guy, yeah. Ken, Ken Johnson. I mean, my, my head was spinning with all these Michigan kids going in the draft. But what did you feel about Ken Johnson? Because he was another one when I looked at a lot of mock drafts. He was maybe seven, eight, nine, somewhere yeah. in there. But uh, boom, there he goes at five. And I had him in that nine range. I figured at that point when you made the mock draft, it was Vancouver's pick. It obviously got traded away. But the skill set and the dynamic ability he brings to the table is like few others that this draft class has to offer. Maybe a little bit of William Eklund, but the fact that he plays with uh, you know, such high compete. Yeah, he's a little thin. He's going to have to mature physically, no question. But you talk about playing the small area game, the ability to have good hands, skate. He does these things. So his game is going to play at the NHL level, and it's going to play in a top six role. I'd love to see when he physically matures. You know, you think about it in his under 15 year, he was four foot 11. Now he's six foot one. I mean, that's a huge growth. All right, I'd so say you're joking. That, that was true. It was true. He was four foot 11. I know. Yeah. It's incredible. Couldn't even get on the rides at the, at the park, at the amusement <laughs> park. <laughs> There's always someone that looks at it from both sides of the coin, though. You have your GMs that look at it and say, oh, my gosh, I can't wait till we can work with this kid. Yeah. We're going to put some beef on him. He may only be 165, 167 pounds now, but wait till we get him. Then you have somebody else that says, I just want somebody more physically mature, yeah. even at that age. I don't know which one is right or wrong. I think teams could go either way, quite frankly, depending on how much you like the player. And when you hear a kid comes into the NCAA, plays at a top university, and has a five-point game early on in his career, you know there's something special there. He has shown a lot. Uh, Billy Muckall told me that he thought, one of the coaches from Michigan, the associate coach, that he thought, he just said, lots, listen, Literally, I think this guy has potentially the highest offensive ceiling in the entire draft. And oh, by the way, Matty Beneers is on his team. So that really wow. said a lot to me. Uh, obviously, that's what was seen here by Clunch. Great pick. Look at, look at that list. It's a great pick. It's risky. <laughs> had Brees on from last year. Yeah. Uh, Bordalo had an unbelievable year. He wasn't in the first round, but man, oh man, that's a, that's a lot for Mel Pearson to try and find ice and, and yeah. keep everybody happy. Going to have to get more than a few pucks, yep. I guess, in, uh, <laughs> in Michigan. We will see.